What's going on guys, TTRX6 here, back for another trees in this review, and today we're like, taking a look at the KBB MP10V. Uh, basically, this is a knockoff, undersized MP10. Think that iGear Faith Leader, uh, but with the MP10 mold, but think of something that's super high quality. Yeah, so last week we, look at, we took a look at that Mecha Series uh, Science Center. Uh, repair center, I think is what it was called. Repair station. I can't remember. Honestly, I filmed it like a month ago. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, uh, I've had this guy for quite a while now, and uh, I love him. You don't even need to go any further in the review that if you like the MP10 mold and you want a small one that fits on your desk real nice, check this guy out. He's freaking awesome. Anyway, uh, it struck me when I saw this uh, repair station uh, trailer that it seemed like it'd be a good size for this. Now, I do want to qualify this in saying that it's my understanding that an actual KO MP10 trailer is coming, but I haven't really seen anything about it. And, uh, you know, honestly, I think that that scale of trailer to truck actually looks better than the MP10 trailer to that truck. Um, this just feels very right to me. Um, if this trailer, or if this truck had like a little wind vane is like the perfect height that it's going right over like it looks very close to a real truck in my opinion maybe a smidge big but really um probably more on the account of this part of mp10 uh, and then you could have dropped everything else just a little bit lower but i think it looks awesome uh if you do want this trailer uh, i did make a little adapter for it on shapeways uh, it just basically plugs right in to here it's not super tight in here but it fits in and uh that trailer, just like it would on the um, Evasion Mode Optimus, just kind of slots in and, you know, he definitely pulls along his trailer. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's real nice. There's not really a whole bunch to say about this Optimus, except that, like, he is super small. Like, here's your Classics B, and you can just see just how small he really is. He's perfect, really, in robot mode, at least, for a Classics display. Uh, in vehicle mode, eh, he's probably a little bit big, but, uh, or, I'm sorry, a little bit small for the vehicle mo mode, but the Prime itself will fit in nicely with your Classics display. And one more thing that I wanted to do before we got to the, the vehicle mode, uh, or the robot mode, I should say, the accessories, um, we're not really going to talk about them too much more from here, but here is the, uh, MP Megatron, the, uh, the little pistol, I think think it's a downscaled version of the original. Now this doesn't slide out to make them hold it any better and I have some trouble getting the stock on but in theory it should work. Um, one thing that's not going to be at all apparent, there we go, for you guys here is that the entire gun is die cast um, and then nicely painted like the paint com comes off but the die cast doesn't like this thing has some weight to it. Um, it almost may weigh the same as the Titan's Return figure. The stock from the connection piece back, all die cast too. Real nice. Uh, of course, we have the axe, and I'm just pulling these things right out of the box. You just assemble it just like that. Um, I don't use it, but it's nice to have. We have what I can only imagine is like the Star Saber or, you know, um, the sword from the upcoming movie. The handle grip does seem a little small. Would have been nice if they cast in the thing to peg it in. Um, but I guess the idea is... Well, let's see. It's it's too big for... Like, or the, the hand port is too big to grip the handle here. So it doesn't really work for any of your 5mm um, connections there. So I don't know. But either way, nice die cast sword. Uh, the paint is a little bit weak. You can see the die cast kind of coming through. It's just like a translucent yellow, I think, to kind of make it cold. Um, I think you could put a lot of paint on this and make it look really cool, but it's kind of like a glorified letter opener. Uh, you also have the jetpack, um, cast in gray with a nice silver accent here, and then these clear thrusters. I kind of wish the thrusters were painted black or something like that. I don't really remember it too much from the TV show. Uh, you know what, we'll keep this out because I've never tried to put this on MP10, so let's see what that looks like later on. And then the final thing is you got your selection of heads. Uh, I like the standard head that comes with this guy, but it's worth pointing them out. This is kind of like your Orion Pax head. Um, his mouth is obscured 
or something. I don't know. There's really no mouth going on there. Like, you see that little, like, piece there? It doesn't really, in person, convey a mouth, but I would assume that's where it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's an okay head. It's not bad. Uh, but it'll never go on this figure for me. That's for sure. Uh, we've also got kind of like... I don't know, is this the comic book style or is this the cartoon style? I'm not sure. The faceplate goes up a lot more than I really want it to. Um, it does have the light piping here, which is strange given that they've painted the eyes. Uh, I've never noticed that on any of them, and they've all got it. So, yeah, you got a different style Optimus Prime head if that one floats your boat. And then jump cut because I had to get it off the floor. You have kind of, it feels like more of a classic style Optimus Prime with the little extra accoutrements going on. It's a nice Prime head, but again, I'm a sucker for the original, so that's the one that we keep on there. So that's the accessories. I just wanted to point them out, uh, and then we probably won't look at most of them again. Uh, he does have his MP10 gun, but yeah, we'll get to that. Might as well get to it now, actually, I was thinking about it. It does store in the back. I actually just had it out on my desk and forgot to put it away. Uh, the one thing, though, it, it doesn't do any of the auto-transforming or anything. And for some reason, the gun just feels super short to me. Um, it kind of looks wimpy in Prime's hand, which you'll see later on. Um, really wish that there was more to this gun, but, you know, understandably, it is what it is. Um, that said, I'll probably try to find some other prime gun and uh, give it to him because this just doesn't really cut it. So I'm only going to show the transformation from truck to robot because it's MP10 and it transforms exactly the same way. Um, so if you need to see how it goes back, go ahead and look at any of my MP10 videos. At least the first one should show it both directions. Um, yeah, but we're not going to do that. So uh, one thing while we're transforming this, because again, MP10. Uh, there's some nice die cast added on this, like these leg flaps have a little bit of die cast to them. So this guy actually does have a good weight. He doesn't feel like your your typical um, deluxe that you would get, and you know it's kind of kind of that size, right? There we go. That got locked, and uh, he does have some extra paint apps on him over the regular MP10, which is pretty nice. Um, Everything, everything is the same for transformation on this guy. Uh, you got the little panels that fold down here. We bring the arms out. The only thing that's different is you don't fold these windows in like you would on the regular one because they'd just be way too small. Um, but everything, I mean, the little, the little steps to get up into the truck go away. And I like to put these back like this just because I feel like it's easiest to rotate this panel around when it's back. Actually, before we do that, let's open the top here. Die cast chest piece here. Bring the head out. As you can see, it's like your standard Optimus Prime. That's the head I most like with this. Bring this piece up. Little matrix. It does come out. Um, close that up. We'll go ahead and close that for now. And bring this around. Bring this around. And I just like leaving the arms like that because I feel like it's the easiest to get these panels out of the way. And then we can come back and open these back up. Just something that I've kind of figured I like to do. Bring this down all the way. This will... It should come down all the way here and come on there we go clip in this closes up probably the nicest of any MP Optimus Prime I've seen and I hope that you saw the uh, chest transformation on video because I didn't realize the camera was looking so low but take my word for it it's MP10 Flip that around, just like that. These, nice and easy to open this time because they don't have that extra little tab, which really is unnecessary. That closes up. The smokestacks don't move up and down, uh, but everything else works just fine. And close that up. 
So I just wanted to clean up MP10 here and whoops, just realized forgot to flip these out in the leg transformations, but as you can see, very nicely painted. Um, here's his gun. Doesn't that look ridiculous? <laughs> like the MP10 uh, prime gun is already real bad, but this is worse. Um, yeah, all the articulation is retained. You still have that one tiny little finger, but it actually seems like it's pinned better than MP10 proper. Um, he's got his three fingers here all molded together. No problems there. Um, all the same articulation that you would expect, just in a much smaller package and a much wimpier gun. Um, for some size comparisons here, here is the Classics Bumblebee mold, and you can see like that to me looks really good. Like considering that the Jazz figure um, is like this size, you know, like that looks really good to me. I think that's like the perfect scale. Um, if you are still a Classics collector, I think that this guy should replace your uh, Classics Optimus Prime hands down. And you know what? If you have the MP Grimlock, it's a great scale for the Dinobots too. Um, at least Grimlock is. Um, it looks great next to this guy. And one more size comparison until we get out of here. Uh, here is the MP10 proper. And uh, I think the MP10 proper kind of emphasizes, you know, like that gun still is a little bit small for MP10. But like this one, there's so many concessions made that it's it's just worse. And I don't understand why it's worse. Uh, the only thing I can think of is because I think this back piece here extends out just a little um, on the MP10 like that. And it just helps it a little. But this is so shrimpy. It looks so bad. But, uh, yeah, you can't argue that it's a well-made knockoff of MP10. Um, I know some of you guys feel certain ways about knockoffs, and that's fine. You feel however you want to feel. But, you know, if you are a Classics collector, I honestly don't think that you can get a better Optimus Prime. Uh, oh, yeah, we wanted to go ahead and see what he looks like with... The uh, jetpack, it looks like the jetpack's just going to go right into those two screw holes and everything else will just get covered up, so there we go, jetpack. That's, it's a nice accessory, I'll admit it. Um, I don't really need my Prime with it, but it's a nice little thing to throw in extra. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend uh, the KBB MP10. Just maybe go ahead and try to find the Gear of War LED Optimus Prime gun and see if that works for this guy because it should. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.